Kuwaiti society has been characterized by cohesion and interdependence since its inception, as well as openness and cultural and intellectual diversity, especially after its prosperity and the growth of commercial and economic activity since the middle of the 18th century. Where a number of ancient commercial spaces migrated to this land from the middle of the Arabian Peninsula, and from the north of it, and from this land, and from the east land. One of these families is the Al Bagli family. The Al Bagli family belonged to the Harb tribe and descended from the Bani Jaim, from Bani Amr, and from Mashruq. And after a large part of the Al Bagli family migrated from their home on the outskirts of Medina to Al Asa and settled there for nearly two centuries. After that, they moved to Kuwait, the land of goodness, love, and peace, and only a few of its members remained in Al Asa. Al Bagli is an old name mentioned in many documents and land deeds in Al Asa and Hijaz more than 400 years ago. The branch to which the family belonged was named Bagliulia and Baglia after her. The Al Bagli family settled in the good land and participated with the honorable sons of Kuwait in building the wall to repel invaders. It also participated in the Jara War in the defense of the land and honor, and contributed with the people of Kuwait in building this country in various fields of life. The Al Bagli family's relationship with the honorable rulers of Kuwait, the Al Saba family, has been distinguished since ancient times, and it still is. In addition to the association of its members with ties of kinship and friendship with the rest of the honorable Kuwaiti families, as for the neighborhoods inhabited by the members of the Al-Bagli family, at the beginning of their migration to Kuwait, they are Al-Bagli area, Dazman Street, currently Ahmed Al-Jabar Street, Al-Sawabur, and Al-Wasat near Dawazat Ab Al-Razak. And with the expansion and prosperity of trade in Kuwait, and given the specialization of the Al Bagli family and its experiences in the Bashout trade in the Al Asa region, the family found a good market in Kuwait to continue in this speciality. With the passage of time, the family gained great fame in the Bashout trade in Kuwait and neighboring countries. In addition to the Bishout industry, its members also practice trade in other fields, the most important of which are real estate trade fabrics and blankets. They set up sponge factories and worked in the contracting, construction, security and guarding sectors, in the field of medical services and equipment, and other commercial, cultural, political and religious activities. Many of its members held high positions in the country. The Al Bagli family, wherever they have settled, immortalized their imprints, past and present, starting from Medina to Al Asa and Kuwait. The family's fingerprints are still in Medina, the original home of this family. Its traces are present. In the past, where the Al Bagli family was in Al Asa, it bought large lands of an area of 50 million square meters to be a general cemetery for the dead Muslims, and it included a washroom for the dead, where people used to wash their dead and bury them in homes. The state of Kuwait honored the dean of the family, Hajj Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim al Bagli, a street bearing his name in the Rumaithia area. 
The state of Kuwait honored Hajj Ali Nasser Issa al-Bagli by issuing a stamp bearing the Kuwaiti heritage of the Bashut profession. Family Elders The relations of the al-Bagli family with each other were characterized by friendliness, understanding, and interdependence. It came as a result of a system put in place by its rulers and approved by its members, and they have followed it since their arrival in Kuwait in the 19th century, coming from al -Assa. The wise men and dignitaries of the family agreed to choose one of them to be the head of the family and its dean, to rule among them. He is responsible for resolving disputes that may arise between its members and between the family and other families. They define the characteristics of the head of the family to be acceptable to him and to be distinguished by sophistication, wisdom, acumen, and knowledge. The family accepts him to manage the affairs of the family and to judge any disputes that arise, provided that his decision is the final ruling that must be executed. The family members were satisfied with this system and they followed it, interdependent and understanding. Over the years, he alternated by acclamation for the position of head of the family and its dean. Until this date, seven deans were able to believe them and we were unable to mention and know what preceded them from the deans each of them carries the same agreed specifications, and they are as follows. First Brigadier General, Haj Ahmed Muhammad Hussein al-Bagli, who died in 1930. The second Brigadier General, Haj Ibrahim Ahmed Abdullah al-Bagli, who died in 1951 AD. The third Brigadier General, Haj Hassan Ali Abdullah al-Bagli, who died in 1980 AD. The fourth Brigadier General, Haj Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim al-Bagli, who died in 1970 AD. The fifth Brigadier General, Haj Abdullah Hassan Ali al-Bagli, who died in 1998 AD. The 6th Brigadier General, Haj Ahmed Ibrahim Ahmed al-Bagli, who died in 1998 AD. The 7th Brigadier General, Haj Ahmed Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim al-Bagli, who died in 2022 AD. After the independence of Kuwait, and until the beginning of its modern era, the notables of the al-Bagli family worked on the proposal of Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed al-Bagli Bo Fahad to establish a family council that is commiserate with the requirements of the era. The role of this council at the beginning of the formation focused on consolidating the bonds of interdependence between the family members and providing material assistance to the defaulting members represented by God Almighty saying, and blood relations among each other have close personal ties. In 1996, Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed al-Bagli Bo Fahad proposed introducing new blood to the council, developing its objectives and expanding its activities, and this was approved. Elections were held in the family office in the Nuza area. It resulted in the formation of a new family council and the recommendation of an advisor, president, and deputy for the council. As for the first family council, it will be by acclamation after consultation on May 4, 1979 AD. And it is as follows. 
Number 1. Haj Abdullah Hassan Ali Abdullah Al Bagli, Dean of the Family and Head of its Council. Number 2. Haj Abdul Hamid Ali Muhammad Hussein Al Bagli, Vice President. Number 3. Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli, Secretary. Number 4. Taj Tahir Abdullah Tahir Muhammad Hussein Al Bagli, Treasurer. Number 5. Haj Jasim Muhammad Hassan Ali Abdullah Al Bagli, Member of the Council. Number 6. Haj Ali Ahmed Ibrahim Ahmed Al Bagli, Member of the Council. As for members who won positions in the Council in 1996, they are as follows. Number 1. Haj Ibrahim Ahmed Muhammad Ahmed Al Bagli. Number 2. Haj Riyad Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli. Number 3. Haj Jasim Muhammad Tahir Muhammad Al Bagli. Number 4. Haj Tariq Muhammad Hussain Ali Al Bagli, member of the council. Number 5. Haj Ali Abdullah Muhammad Ahmed Al Bagli, member of the council. Number 6. Haj Fuad Mahmoud Ali Muhammad Al Bagli. Number 7. Haj Fadel Abdullah Hassan Ali Al Bagli. Number 8. Haj Abbas Yusuf Abdullah Ali Al Bagli. While Haj Jassim Muhammad Hassan Ali Abdullah Al Bagli was recommended as chairman of the council, and Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim Al Bagli, and Haj Ali Ahmed Ibrahim Ahmed Abdullah Al Bagli as advisors to the council. Membership of the Al Bagli Family Council for the year 2016 was won by number 1. Haj Tariq Muhammad Hassan Ali Al Bagli, Chairman of the Council. Number 2. Haj Ali Ibrahim Ahmed Al Bagli, Vice President of the Council. Number 3. Haj Nasir Hussein Muhammad Al Bagli. Number 4. Haj Amin Muhammad Tahir Al Bagli, Trustee of the Fund. Haj Dr. Abdullah Ahmed Muhammad Al Bagli, Member of the Council. Number 6. Haj Fuad Mahmoud Ali Al Bagli. Number 7. Haj Abbas Yusuf Abdullah Al Bagli, Member of the Council. Number 8. Haj Adnan Abdullah Tahir Muhammad Hussein Al Bagli, Member of the Council. Number 9. Haj Nasser Hussein Nasser Al Bagli, Member of the Council. Diwan Al Bagli. Diwanias in Kuwait are an old social phenomenon, and every Kuwaiti family has an independent diwan in which it receives visitors from personalities, friends, and people of the region. The Al Bagli family is one of the Kuwaiti families whose diwan has been known since ancient times. In the past, the Diwan Haj Ahmed Mohammed Hussein Al Bagli, Abu Hussein, was located in the Shak region full of visitors from various neighborhoods of Kuwait, especially the seamstress, the merchants of the Bashut, and his tailors, who used to go to him to do their work, just as the dignitaries, merchants, and people of the neighborhood used to go to him as well. After the Diwan, Abu Hussein, the family took the Diwan Haj Ibrahim Ahmed Abdullah Al Bagli Abu Ahmed in the Al Sawabar area. It was also full of pioneers. And after him, Diwan Haj Hassan Ali Abdullah Al Bagli Abu Abdullah, which is the most famous collection of the Al Bagli family at that time. Then the family took the office of Haj Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim Al Bagli Abu Ahmed in the Shak region, and here the Diwan moved to the Daya area. It is characterized as a refuge for resolving family disputes and arbitration in commercial disputes due to the wisdom and care of Abu Ahmed. After that, the Diwan of Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim Al Bagli Bu Fahad became the Diwan of the family. Its location in the Rumathia area continued until 1994 AD. 
it was a political and cultural forum visited by ministers, members of the National Assembly, dignitaries, merchants, and members of society and family. In 1994, Haas Yassim Mohammed Hassan Ali Abdullah Al Bagli Abu Riyadh built his Diwan in the Al Nuzha area. This Diwan became the main Diwan of the Al Bagli family, a meeting place for its members on occasions and holidays, and a meeting place for many politicians and economists. And holding seminars Monday of each week was set to receive visitors until this date. Initiatives and Positions The Dean of the Family, Ahmed Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim al-Bagli, is the owner of many initiatives. He was characterized by good qualities, such as humility, good descriptions, he was calm, low-pitched and smiled, kind-hearted, loved by all, and his life was full of giving. Everyone goes to him to satisfy their needs and help solve their problems. He receives everyone from the family and other families. Kindness to his family and country. Where he donated a field hospital in the fairgrounds, Mishref area, of 428 fully equipped rooms to the Ministry of Health. He donated mattresses to his countrymen in the interior and many donations in the corona epidemic crisis. He is truly a father to all, and the credit goes to him for issuing and documenting the family book, as he instructed his son Tafik Abu Badr to seek the help of elites who offered all their intellectual capabilities to crown the teamwork with success and the publication of the Al Bagli family documentary book with implementation and issuance, and write down as much as possible the names of family members in Kuwait, their life path, and their achievements in various economic, social, and political fields. He also issued another book containing all the addresses and numbers of the Al-Bagli family in order to facilitate the connection between the family members themselves and between them and other dignitaries in Kuwait. In addition, he made a CD that includes the content of the book and two paintings. The first, a group photo of family members in 2016. The other painting is the family tree, designed in a geometric way to be hung on the wall. Everyone who participated in the success of the book, Al Bagli Documentary, also had a role in the success of the Al Bagli family tree. They are as follows Haj Ali Nasser Issa Abdullah Al Bagli who was sought by those interested in the family tree due to his strong memory and accurate knowledge of genealogy. Haj Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Ibrahim al-Bagli was the first to lay the nucleus of the al-Bagli family tree and the first to issue a family phone directory in 1976. His efforts were a base and resource for those interested in completing their family tree and telephone directory. The engineer Haj Abdul Aziz Mohammed Hassan al-Bagli, who collected information on the branches of the al-Bagli family tree. Engineer Haj Abdul Reda Tahir Ahmed al-Bagli, for checking historical documents related to the family tree and the authenticity of their sources. Haj Tafik Ahmed Tahir Ahmed Al-Bagli, 
who was the center of the labor administration for preparing and editing the book, coordinating and consulting with the dean of the family. Haj Ahmed Tahir al-Bagli, he was very keen on issuing the book in an honorable manner benefiting the family. Haj Tariq Muhammad Hassan al-Bagli, who constructed and coordinated the al-Bagli family book project. Haj Ali Abdullah Muhammad al-Bagli contributed to the preparation of the course, The Origins of the History of the al-Bagli Family. Haj Nasir Ali Nasir Issa Abdullah al-Bagli, who helped match the names of family members with their photos. Haj Ali Abdullah Hassan al-Bagli, for his role in putting the descriptive indexing card and classifications of the book according to the Dewey Decimal System to indicate its location in the process of searching in the booklets. Haj Riyad Muhammad Tahir Ahmed al-Bagli, who completed the nucleus of the al-Bagli family tree on his father's behalf. He prepared the group photo for the family in 1996. He put together a telephone directory for the family in 1994. We have benefited from his important achievements in preparing this book. Haj Abd al Musin Tahir Hassan al Bagli, whose efforts we have used in preparing this book, organizing a photo shoot for the 12th anniversary of the al Bagli family, and by establishing a website for the family, which facilitated the collection of information from its members. Haj Ahmed Mahmoud al Muhammad al Bagli, who took over the technical supervision of this book, the engineer. Haj Yusef Abdulaziz Mohammed Hassan al-Bagli for his modern technical experience which helped in issuing the book. Mirza Hussein Ali Mohammed Hamid who directed and designed the book. Mrs. Fadia Mohammed Munir al-Zubi who handled the linguistic side of the book. Haj Ibrahim Abdul Rasul Tahir Ahmed al-Bagli Haj Hamid Adil Abdul Rasul Tahir Al Bagli, Haj Muhammad Fad Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli, Haj Muhammad Tariq Muhammad Hassan Al Bagli. The Al Bagli family would like to thank the white hands of the righteous sons of the homeland for their many contributions through our companies. especially to the Kuwaiti Red Cross. And we especially thank Mr. Wail Abdullah al Kars for his generous contribution. Honoring the Al-Bagli family for the Dean of the family, Ahmed Tahir Ahmed Al-Bagli. The Al-Bagli family celebrated its Dean in honor of his achievements and his giving to this honorable family and to everyone who came to him, with a celebration held in the Al-Bagli Diwan in the presence of a large number of Kuwaiti families. The newspapers publish this joyful celebration that expresses the authenticity of the people of Kuwait. Tafik Ahmed Tahir Al-Bagli is an extension of his father's path. Haj Tafik Ahmed al-Bagli was keen on the interdependence of the al-Bagli family and the preservation of its great position, which it inherited through generations, starting from their first home in Hejaz, passing through al assa and ending in Kuwait. By documenting this period of time for her children, especially the notables of the family and those whom an Amir decree was issued to serve their beloved country. Kuwait by issuing the Al-Bagli family necklace, which was designed in Italy. By the creative Kuwaiti designer Haj Ahmed Mahmoud Al-Bagli, in addition to its great value for those who have the honor of obtaining it, it has great material value as it is made of pure gold.
Our ceremony for this day will witness the inauguration of a new dean of the Al Bagli family, the eighth dean of the family, who is Haj Ibrahim Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli, who follows the path of his former fathers and brothers, who had the honor of carrying this banner and worked hard to preserve the status of the family, interdependence and united. Under the leadership of His Highness Amir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Saba and His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Michel Al Ahmed Al Saba. As for those honorees who received the Al Bagli family necklace, they are Number 1. The founder of the Al Bagli family, Al Fadhil Muhammad Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli. The academic qualification, Faculty of Law, Anshams University, Cairo, 1971, Function, Kuwaiti Army, 1954 AD, Ministry of Finance, 1956 AD, Director of the Commercial Licensing Department at the Ministry of Commerce and Industry until his retirement in 1987 AD. The important administrative positions represented Kuwait in many exhibitions held abroad. He founded with his brothers Al Bagli Textile Company and chaired the Board of Directors, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Zari Real Estate Company, Chairman of the Board of Directors the Cooperative Fund for the Employees of Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Member of the Board of Directors of the Public Utilities Company, Member of the Kuwaiti Bar Association, he has charitable and social activities and contributes to many humanitarian works. He played an effective role during the period of the brutal Iraqi invasion of the state of Kuwait by helping the needy and delivering aid despite his exposure to danger. The Kuwait National Museum presented a collection of old coins, participated in the Amateur Archaeology Exhibition organized by the Kuwait National Museum in 1981. Number 2. Al Dean of the Family, Haj Ibrahim Tahir Ahmed Al Bagli. Academic Qualifications, Bachelor of History from the University of Baghdad, 1968 AD. Position, Director of Iniquities and Museums Department, Ministry of Information. Supervised the completion of the new National Cupboard Museum, which opened in 1983 AD. Established the first governmental popular coffee shop in the 1970s. He held many archaeological exhibitions and heritage activities. Retrieved the Kuwaiti antiquities discovered on Falaka Island, which were in the possession of the Arthaus Museum in Denmark for more than 10 years. Ibrahim Tahir Al Bagli Foundation. Starting the charitable work of the Ibrahim Tahir Al Bagli by establishing the Al Bagli Award for the Righteous Son in 2007 AD. President of the Kuwaiti Charitable Society for the Care and Rehabilitation of the Elderly. Head of the Mrs. Nasifa Charitable Foundation. Interview with His Highness Sheikh Saba Al Ahmed. The late His Highness Sheikh Saba Al Ahmed, Emir of the State of Kuwait, received the Ibrahim Tahir Al Bagli and congratulated him on the occasion of obtaining the Kuwait Scarf Prize for Human Footprint of 2018. Member of the Board of Directors of the Kuwaiti Scout Association in 1996 AD. Donating a wedding hall in the Ramathia area in the name of Ibrahim Tahir Al Bagli Wedding Hall. Number 3. The founder of Diwan Al Bagli, Haj Jassim Muhammad Hassan Al Bagli. Educational Qualification Bachelor of Economics from the Faculty of Economics and Political Science, Cairo University, 1969 AD. 
graduate diploma in economic development from the Faculty of Economics at the University of Manchester, 1972. An economic researcher at the Economic Research Department at the Central Bank of Kuwait, 1969 AD. Resident Demonstrator, Department of Economics, College of Commerce, Economics and Political Science, Kuwait University, 1969. Dean of the Kuwait University Scholarship and a postgraduate student at the Faculty of Economics at the University of Manchester, 1970. An economic researcher in the Banking Supervision Department at the Central Bank of Kuwait, 1972. General Manager of the National Company for Automotive Industry and Trade, 1974 AD. General Manager of Jawad Bo Qasim Trading Corporation, 1977 AD. Self-employment in the field of investment in stock and real estate market and the establishment of several companies with investors in several fields, 1982 AD until now. He has many good deeds and works of righteousness for his family. Number 4. Minister of Oil in 1992 A.D. Haj Ali Ahmed Ibrahim Abagli. Qualification. Studying the French language and principles of law, 1968 A.D. Bachelor of Laws, Kuwait University, 1972 A.D. M.A. in Comparative Law from Brunel University in the United Kingdom, 1975 A.D. Function. Deputy Attorney General, 1972 AD. Assistant Legal Advisor at the National Petroleum Company. Full-time Attorney. The Most Important Administrative Positions. Member of the Kuwaiti Bar Association. Member of the National Assembly from 1992 AD to 1994 AD. Decision of Defending Human Rights. Rapporteur of the Public Funds Protection Committee. Member of the Kuwaiti Journalists Association. Member of the Trustees of the Supporters of Democracy Committee. Former President of the Kuwaiti Society for Human Rights. Chairman of the Board of Directors of the National International Holding Company. Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Al Alia Holding Company. Member of the Kuwaiti Social Work Association Council. Chairman of the Board of Directors of Reef Real Estate Finance Company. Former member of the Board of Directors of the Kuwait Association for the Advancement of the Sciences. He has a daily column entitled Jar Qalam for Al Qabas Kuwaiti Newspaper. Has a weekly column in the Kuwaiti newspaper Arab Times, which is published in English. Member of the Committee to Prepare an Indictment Against Saddam Hussein in London headed by British representative Anne Cliff after the liberation of Kuwait. Restore Kuwait share in OPEC. Received the Medal of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Saba for his confidence and appointment as Minister of Oil and support him during his work as Minister of Oil, saying to him, What you did, Brother Ali, for Kuwait, no one did before you and I do not think that anyone after you will do it, so thank you very much. Number 5. The Head of the Al-Bagli Family Council, Tariq Mohammed Hassan Al-Bagli. Academic Qualification. Bachelor's Degree from Oregon State University, 1977. Function. Weather Forecast for Civil Aviation in Kuwait International Airport, 1977 AD. Weather Forecast for Military Aviation, 1979 AD. Chairman of the Board of Directors of W&B Holding. 
the most important administrative positions. He was honored by Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah after completing his term in the Air Force. His brother, Haz Jassim Muhammad Al Bagli, and Sheikh Jaz Jabir Al Ali Al Sabah participated in the first Gulf real estate company in 1983 AD. The position of the Secretary General, Waqaf Al Ikawi, 2020 AD. Member of the Board of Trustees as the Al Ajiri Scientific Center, 2021 AD. عضو مجلس أمناء مركز العجير العلمي الحاج نمبر 6 علي عبد الله محمد الباغلي Academic Qualifications Bachelor of Business Administration Arab Republic of Egypt 1979 Position Assistant Undersecretary of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry for Corporate Affairs Commercial Control and Tourism from 2004 AD to 2012 AD the most important administrative positions, member of the Board of Directors of the Central Bank of Kuwait, representing the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, member of the Board of Directors of the Al Ahili Bank of Kuwait, member of the Board of Directors of the First Company for Local Marketing of Fuel and Public Company, chairman of the Technical Committee for the Development of Accounting Rules, chairman of the Registration and Disciplinary Committee for Auditors, Chairman of the Commercial Activities Classification Committee, an expert accountant, commercial arbitrator, and judicial guard in the Court of First Instance in the State of Kuwait and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, commercial advisor and CEO of Ali Al Bagli Business Consulting Company, Chief Executive Officer of Al Bagli Sons General Trading and Construction Company and its subsidiary associates. Number 7. Representative in the National Assembly in 2012 AD. Engineer Hassam Hussein Abdullah Al Bagli. Educational Qualifications University degree in civil engineering from Moscow University, 1993. Master's degree in engineering sciences, Moscow University, 1994. Specialized certificate from the Public Authority for Housing Welfare. 1995 AD, a certificate from the General Fire Department as a firefighting officer in 2003, function, work in the General Fire Department, prevention sector, licensing department, work in the public authority for housing welfare, business and activities, executive director of a private sector company, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Jabria Cooperative Society 2007 AD. Member of the Municipal Council in 2008. Deputy in the National Assembly 2012 AD. Number 8. Member of the Municipal Council in 2018, Engineer Maha Ahmed Tahir Al Bagli. Academic Qualification Bachelor's Degree in Civil Engineering from Kuwait University. Master's Degree in Civil Engineering in Smart Roads from University of Central Florida and the United States of America. The most important positions held Member of the Municipal Council, Chair of the Environmental Committee. President of the Business and Professional Women Club from the State of Kuwait. Support Officer for the Middle East Partnership Program, Alumni Board of Directors. Advisor to the Ministry of State for Youth Affairs to develop a national strategy for social responsibility. Project Engineer in the Construction Program of Kuwait University. A member of several Kuwaiti civil society institutions. Founding Ambassador Company for Social Responsibility.
Number 9. Kuwaiti Minister of Social Affairs and Community Development and Minister of State for Women and Childhood Affairs, Engineer Mai Jassim Mohammed Al Bagli. Academic Qualifications Bachelor's Degree in Civil Engineering, Kuwait University. The Most Important Administrative Positions Chief Engineer of the Court of Accounts. Professional Engineer in Civil Engineering from the Society of Engineers. Value Engineering Specialist Time Software Engineer Former Member of the Committee on Sustainable Development in the State Audit Institution Member of the Society of Engineers Number 10. The Designer of Al-Bagli Necklace Haj Ahmed Mahmoud Ali Al-Bagli Position Trainer and Teacher Public Authority for Applied Education and Training The Most Important Administrative Positions Cartoonist for the Press Graphic Designer Painter of Oil Works Appointment and Supervisor of a Group of Private Islamic Programs and Exhibitions on Satellite Channels Commissioned by Mr. Tawfiq Ahmed Al Baghli to the Roma Jewelry Company, which is specialized in the manufacture of necklaces and jewelry. A pure gold necklace was manufactured in the company's factories, especially for the Al Baghli family, with a distinguished design created by the son of the family. Ahmed Mahmoud Al Baghli. May God protect Kuwait and its people from all harm.